Hey everybody, Shade Hunter here. This is episode 20 of Age of Engineering. And you just walked through my perfect shot. I know, wasn't it perfect? <sighs> Anyhow, some things have changed. We have, um, first of all, we can actually hear Phantom when he speaks. Um, we have a few new windows. And we changed a thing, a few things on the base, so it's not so gloomy. Um, we got rid of that wall of drawers and moved it over here against this other wall. And took Phantom a good half an hour to organize and sort and everything. And I kind of couldn't resist but to throw a few other things at him because he had it, like half organized and then I'm like, oh, but this turns into this and that turns into this and, and so yeah, I kinda had to throw him a curveball. Um Yeah, but I still made it work. Yeah, it looks good. Um we probably actually should take the the uh salmon and fish out of here. Oh, it what? is out. So we have more space for other things in here. Oh, you, oh, you mean out of the other room where it isn't anymore? Oh. Yeah, I see that. It's yeah, already I already, gone. I already took it out of there. But it's just not unlocked and cleared. Oh, let me uh, let me take care of that real quick. Then you can just lock the drawers back, and then when we find something to put in there, we can it'll automatically take it for us. So I have a new drill and a magnet and a triple battery because this drill is amazing and makes things a lot easier because I can mine in a five by five area. It's actually quite disgusting. It really is. So we um, put those in there. You have to make sure that you have the previous augment in order for the next augment to work. So I only have one speed augment, but I have so the uh, fortune one and then the fortune, the fortune augment two, which actually gives fortune three because they're both in there, you know, two plus plus. One is three. Um, for those that can't math. Wait, do that math again. <laughs> and then the uh, drill augment, uh, three by three, and then the five by five. And this thing, I mean, it's not super fast, but it's it's pretty nice. I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate this real quick, just uh, by digging a hole real quick. But I really don't want to keep this stuff, so I'm going to avoid the dirt that I pick up. It's, it's, it's pretty nasty. So, yeah, we could totally just completely destroy an area with this. Um, there we go. Now I can get out. I made another hole. In what? One of these days, I should probably reset the mining dimension because we've we, we've torn it up pretty bad. Um, I, don't, I don't know. We're just we're just getting good. We're starting to sort things out. And what else is new? Um, made a bow. That was fun. It's it's pretty nasty. Kills uh, ghasts in one hit. Which I made that because I needed the gas tiers to make the drill and. We still need to go to the nether and get some more gas here so that uh, Phantom can make a drill. Yeah. Um, we, I, I, we we finally cleared out this uh, top uh, chest here, and now this is our project chest. And it's still a mess, and probably will be forever. Um, oh, 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 oh. Got to show off the trophy room. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's good. We got that. Yeah, Phantom's got all his trophies over here, and I've got mine along here. Um, I uh, made these uh, water mills from Extra Utilities um, for grid power. Uh, at... um, they're actually really simple to make. That's why I didn't actually do it on camera. I could find the watermelon on my list of things here. Lava mill. Oh, there it is. Watermill. 
it's just the stone burnt um, redstone gears and one of the red resonating redstone crystals. Um, I needed that to be able to make the glass for the mob farms. Uh, and stone burnt is in a resonator. Resonator is made like that. I've already shown you guys that. Um, so our our uh, finally actually worked through the backlog of potatoes so I can move this crate and then it filled up again. So yeah, we're actually doing really good on um, on uh, biodiesel. Um, and that's actually one thing that we're gonna work on today so that we don't have to have this switch right here. So we got that going on, uh, and we have this uh, wonderful room back here that has all of our mob drops. Um, when we were in the in the uh, Nether last, we got a couple of drops of evil, and so we made some cursed earth and made a mob farm up there that's just running right now and getting us quite a bit of stuff. We have over 900 bones. That's going to come in handy because I'm actually going to start piping that out to be crushed and then sent into the garden cloches to make that stuff better. Uh, let's go investigate the mob farms. Oh, wait. Can I get up right here? Maybe, maybe. Nope. Can't do it right there. Darn. And I didn't see the need to um, show us build these mob farms on on camera. It's a generic 9 by 9 mob farm. Um, this one and the blaze spawner are not um, dark because they don't need to be. We just hit the buttons and they spawn. You can see the little flames in the middle of the room and there they are. And you hear the blazes over there dying. Um, we actually had both of those running for quite some time. But here's the Cursed Earth mob farm. Um, you can actually see the particle effects from the Cursed Earth coming through. Those uh, vector plates, that's what those are, uh, uh, are actually pretty handy. Those are uh, made by... Let's see here. They're just uh, basalt slabs from environmental tech and conveyor belts from immersive engineering, which um, is either rubber or leather on top of a redstone and iron. So get eight of those each. So that wasn't too bad. Um, the only expensive part of the mob farm, honestly, were the uh, diamond spikes. Those things. That took a lot of diamonds. <laughs> It took a ton of diamonds. Um, a block of diamond and three diamonds and three diamond swords for four, and we have four in each thing. So yeah, that was that that chewed into our diamonds quite a bit. Um, but in my inventory, you'll see some things. So let's put this stuff away and get to work because. We're going to make something to make the power a little bit easier. Um, we are going to make a power monitor and have it monitor when the um, generator is turned on. And it's going to be cool. So first we need the... We need six, seven, eight conductive iron, which I've... Or conductive steel, which I have in my inventory. We need a machine chassis, which I've already pre-made. We need the energy conduits, um, the lowest tier one, which is 640, which is conductive iron, and that is made by iron and redstone in the alloy smelter that we have over there, which just so happens I've already made some to make it easier. Uh, then we need two pieces of glass, a redstone comparator, which that's vanilla Minecraft stuff. Um, it's three redstone, nether quartz, stone. You're good. Another energy conduit, which that one recipe made eight. 
Uh, two silicon, which I already have in my inventory. So let's see here. Oh, we need the two glass panes. And I believe that's, we can make that. Yeah, we're, we're good. So we're going to make our, what is this thing called? Conduit probe. Okay. Uh, then we go to here and make our power monitor. Now, we're going to get that stuff. Now we need our Yetta wrench so we can change stuff. And we're going to go down to our, uh, our spider web because I have graded all the wires to the HV wires and we've got we've got wires everywhere. It's it's kind of ridiculous. But there's kind of a visual bug on some some of these where it doesn't want to render, but it, it works. Um, passively without the generator on them, we're we're pulling in about two hundred and forty five ish RF a tick. So we're okay. Alright, so we need, this thing is going to need power, so I don't think it needs much power. So what we're going to do is, we'll use the big ones. We'll go out from the side of the, that, place our power monitor there, conveniently right over the hole I left. Yeah, I also made another capacitor bank, so now we can hold 15 million RF. And zero of 10,240 RF. Conduit storage. Okay. Well, we're not running the whole place off of conduits, so this is just to monitor the amount of energy inside the capacitor bank. And we want it to emit a redstone signal when storage is less than, I'd say 50%, and stop when storage is greater than eh, 90%. And that should do it. And just to make this quick and easy, I'm going to make another hole in the ground. Okay, mental note. Make sure you take the augments out of the drill when you're working around the base. Otherwise, you make a huge mess. Oops. Ah. Uh. It's okay, it's not the first time I've done it. Oh. Misplaced the block. Alright. So now, we have our power monitor up there, and we want it to emit a redstone signal to here. Well, right now... Don't need that anymore... There's my hammer. Right now, if you hover over this, um, the one little thing the book says is when you hover over the redstone spots on the machines, you can invert them. So right now, this is on in order to stop the machine. If we invert this, it starts starts running and that's exactly what we want because we want that to turn on to run the machine and then off when we want it to stop and so now if we invert it it'll stay on without a redstone signal so we want it inverted and we're going to come down off of here uh, that's going to be fixed in a minute. Really? Uh, there. And we'll just turn that one off. So now it just goes straight down and in. And that should work. 
Uh, hey, Phantom, where are you at? I'm out here uh, feeding the animals. Um, would you mind running in and turning on both uh, power spawners? Sure. So with the way we have this set, once he turns that on, it should drop rather quickly, actually. Um, and 50% should be around 7.5 million. And then this should kick on. Okay, so here goes uh, the switches. Okay. Yeah, and it starts draining it quite rapidly. Well, that wasn't quite as fast as I thought it was going to be. Well, that's good. That's actually really good, because that means we could have them running for quite some time. Alright, so when this gets closer to 7.5 million, we will be back. And we're back. It's getting down pretty low right now. It's at 9.6. And it's it's draining it. I actually just changed this because um, it can actually stop at 98% and then it'll have a longer period of time. And just to... Just to show this, we'll do it, go 55% and uh, see where that's at. Should be kicking on here really soon. 8.4. Ha! Ah, there it goes. And now we've got a net gain of about 1300 RF a tick. That is awesome. That is really awesome. And actually what I'll probably end up doing is actually having setting this to where it doesn't kick on until it's at like 20% and then off at 98 so that, yeah, run for a while, but we've got a pretty decent net gain here. But after, after a while, we could uh, add another one of these and easily run the biodiesel because if we're only running it when we need the power then we won't have to necessarily keep up with it running with our machines here because it's it's staying this biodiesel is staying almost completely full it's just flickering should be shutting off here relatively soon well, we'll, we'll, we'll tell it a little bit less, just so that we... Oops. Yeah, it, it shut off because I messed with the numbers, but... Yeah, it, it actually works. That is awesome. Oh, and you shut off the levers, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. I, I awesome. figured we probably had seen what we needed... Yeah, so I'm actually going to set this at kicking on at 20% and kicking off, turning off at 98%. Yeah, it'll run for a while, but that way we can actually, we'll, we'll be okay with that because it'll be off for quite some time. That's awesome. Most of the time we probably won't be running both uh, spawners at the same time. We'll be running either the the blaze or the enderman but both kind of drain it significantly quicker but we're still getting uh, ender pearls and ender heads and the uh, dimlets from the regular farm too and it's <laughs> no power needed and we've even got uh, filters on here we've got one that's automatically trashing bows, cobwebs, sticks, potatoes, carrots and we'll upgrade this to have more later and we are ignoring the the metadata so that all bows will be dumped in there. 
um, and anything extra we just pull out and go put in our other storage. But for right now, it's 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 a good system, and what we're using for the collection of items is the ranged collector. Is this guy, and we have three of them out there behind each each mob farm. So we're doing good. Um, I'm going to get a couple other things uh, set up, and we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. And the reason for setting up the automated um, power on and off um, is mainly because of something I want to do. And you should see some things in my inventory here. Um, not flint. Um, not steel boots. That's garbage. <laughs> Totally thought I cleaned up my inventory, but apparently not. Uh, this Sirtis Quartz can go away. Alright, so. I went and mined up a couple, uh, a thing here. The iron I didn't have. The cor These two I did. Um, so, these are needed for a environmental tech void ore miner. I also need the clear glass. And I actually want the the tier two. The reason is, is if we go into the environmental tech, which this thing's really easy to craft. It's any of the environmental tech stuff next to a book, and you get the guide. So we want to go void ore miner. We will. I will be setting up the void resource miner, but I'll do that off camera. It's the same thing as this. So uh, the void ore miner is the tier one. It's 400 ticks, it has a 1 million RF energy buffer, and it costs 320,000 RF per duration. Uh, but if you actually look at the tier 2, it's half that. Everything's the same, but it's half. So I'm going to tier 2. So what do I need for this? Well, first and foremost... We want the assembler. And if we do at we will see that this is not much to the mod, but it's a very powerful mod. So we want the assembler, which is going to be some type of structure tier item tier block plus two obsidian okay so let's go grab obsidian oh why is there two why uh, i had more obsidian than that all right well we may have to wait on this but anyhow so which one of these it's this one it's this one this one and this one and it looks like we have the most of hardened stone so We'll use it for our blocks. Uh, I think I'm going to need some redstone. So I'll grab a couple stacks of it. Maybe a couple dozen. So. Alright. So let's get this thing made. So we need a structure tier 2 for this. So we want structure tier 1. Which uh, I'm going to need electrical steel, redstone, gold. Okay. Gold, and there is only one electrical steel left. Why? Uh, I made a bunch of that. Well, don't know where it went, but it went somewhere. So we get to go make some. Iron, silicon, coal powder. Into the alloy salter you go. Luckily, I have a, a capacitor, so this doesn't take too long. But we are going to need four of them. And to get to the structure tier two, we need vibrant alloys, which are made in the alloy smelter, which is an ender pearl and an energetic alloy. So we're going to need four of those. And we only have one. 
Okay. One, two, three, four. And we need four inner pearls. One, two, three, four. And this assembler will make building this thing a lot easier. Okay, there's that many for now. And we'll just craft that up. Well, while we're in here, let's go ahead and get the this one done. So there's one. We'll probably be making more later. Because we want to go tier 2, so we're going to need the tier 2 hardened stone structure blocks. And you already saw how that is, and it's going to be Restonia, tier 1 block, 2 diamonds, and 4 vibrant alloys. So, what I'm going to do, after I get this built, this one thing built, oh, Restonia crystals. I'm going to need 2. Yeah, we're, we're running low on some things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the pieces together including the um, controller, and the controller is 3 tier 1, which is this, and 4 blocks of diamond, a clear lens, and a laser core. So once I get these pieces together, then we will, I'll come back and we'll get this set up and I'll show you how it works. So I'll be right back.